Hello again and welcome back to part two of our Greenville Zoo walkthrough. I really wasn't anticipating this to be a two-part video, so I didn't even record a second intro video at the zoo itself. If you haven't seen part one, you might want to check that out first in the link in the description down below or up top here. Otherwise, let's check out what we got left here in the rest of the zoo. Ooh, this is a cool entrance. Okay, nice little themed area for, for Asia. Say Asia right there? Yeah, behind that tree. I think they have a baby orangutan. Don't quote me on that. We're about to find out. Yeah, the orangutan. And he's right up front. The orangutan, oh my word, it's a baby. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. He is tiny. That is great. Naturally, mom and dad. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's actually mom and dad. They're just kind of chilling. But then the little guy, he's saying hello. He's trying to get, the, he's reaching through. That ball is on the outside. That's interesting. Then they can put the food in it from behind, I would imagine. I wonder if you can see from behind. Probably not. But once again, that one house. I think it's the same one that was behind the giraffes. Look down and see them. That would be a long ways. But I wonder how much you could see of the back workings of the whole zoo thing from some of this housing around. But look at that. That's cool. As you may have seen, the orangutan habitat is under construction at the Columbus Zoo for a new indoor area. I don't know if there's any babies that are on the horizon, but because the ones they have are pretty old. Let's be straight with you on that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool right there though. I hope there's a nice theming like that, which I would imagine, Columbus Zoo style, the theming, everything they add is usually pretty heavily themed. Okay, and then carrying right into the leopard area, which they've got three of them. We just lost a leopard at the Columbus Zoo. And uh, one hanging out up here, just chilling. And then two more, chilling over there. There we go, got him on the move this time. Oh, oh, I kind of got it, I think. One came up, and it's funny, I was about to say one just jumped down, this guy over here. But then, hey, one jumped up there. Okay, and they're looking to apparently bust out that wall there and then do an indoor area for the leopards. I don't know how cold it gets here during the off season, but then you have a snap your picture while they're hanging on a tree right there then a window for them to walk in so that'd be pretty cool okay i almost thought cody would have been heartbroken had he been with us because we didn't think the red panda was out but in true red panda form he is lazing around right up there look i just sprawled across the beam right there and as we circle back around look who's awake this time uh -huh. a lot more Oh, he's just, he's still thick with fluff. I wonder how much they lose after winter. And I wonder how cold it gets here in South Carolina. It's just a lot of white on that face. Seems like more so than normal. I mean, even as you look here, like, that's more just like, you know, white areas. This is like, there's like a fullness of white. <laughs> these guys. Now these guys can vocalize and they can swing. Yeah, Oh. Oh, there's one like back there. It's like an additional place behind this one. But lots of stuff to play. I mean, good grief. That would be a Ninja Warrior obstacle course for sure. Gotta touch everything. This is interesting. It's like a seating area here. It looks like an amphitheater style for what you'd expect to be a show area, but it's like a concessions and a gift shop. Maybe that's just for people, people to be able to sit in general, which is fine. But usually when you see these, it's more of a, I wonder if they ever do like any things down here. That would seem like that would really clog things up if they did a animal encounter type thing, but hmm. But hey, let's check out the gift shop, see what we got. Well, a lot of people, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, let's go to, oh my, there's a massive flamingo. Anybody want a massive flamingo there? Also a great option. You don't see a lot of stuffed animal beavers. Look at those teeth even. Nice touch with the tail. Even look at that. I'm curious if the stuffed animal goats are a big seller. You don't see it much, but uh, I mean, it's not like there's a ton of them left. Okay, so we're over here at a picnic area, and I peek the, to the back side of the vulture area and check out what they got. Now, it's not easy to see because we're far away, but looky down here. They got some bat eared foxes. I don't know if I can zoom in much more. Look at them, just chilling down on the ground. There's one right there. I'm gonna see if we can see them from up top. I don't think there was a sign. Maybe I just completely missed it though. 
All right, I'm gonna defend myself for not seeing it the first time. Because big vulture right there, vulture stuff right there, the wing thing over there, but then off to the left, you get your uh, actual signage for that. And they were way down the back side. Let's see if we can, see if they're closer now. And there's no bad-eared foxes visible, but the vultures are right close. They must not be able to fly, because there's no net on top. Really? Here we go, he hung around. Oh, until he's running. Well, they, <laughs> I think he is actually visible for a second. Eating something. Gnawing on something. They eat a lot of bugs. All right, we got a little South American region with a nice feel to it right here. And first one up is, well, actually the first one up is empty. And like, I didn't see anything and there's no sign. But there's an enclosure there. But it looks like it's pretty worn. Anyway, the first one where it says there's an animal is the ocelot. Annie would absolutely love this. Can we find it in here? Hmm. All right, this is heartbreaking. We are gonna have to double back and see if it's out then. Okay, now it makes sense. There's no animal here. No animal in the first one. Middle one's where it says the ocelot is, but it has like these tunnels that are connected. And while it's still not a great angle, you can see it tucked in there we are still gonna double back because I'd really prefer to see this guy or gal walking around, but it is here. So we know that it's here. Just a matter of actually seeing it moving. Cool. Ooh, hoo, hoo. These bronze like statue type things are like at all kinds of zoos, but I've never seen a bear one like this. This is like a brown bear material. Although when you look at it, it kind of looks like it's intended to be young. But anyway, we have a polar bear, the Columbus Zoo. Nice, and just in a simple little uh, little picnic uh, seating area right here. I like it. And if anyone has been here or seen this at other zoos and knows what this is, I'd be glad to be informed. I don't think it's just a sun blocker because I mean, there's plenty of trees and it's not along the rest of it, but interesting. A nice overhead view of their little lagoon area with ducks and turtles and flamingos. We'll see if we get a little closer. And from down below, look, these folks are standing where we were standing a second ago. As you circle on down and uh, see this nice little lagoon area, which is cool. You got the ducks. And frankly, pound for pound, a lot of turtles. There's turtles on that edge. And then a bunch chilling over here with some of these guys. Look at the nice black swan. Uh, I can't really see it. It's kind of far. But they had those at the, the farm at Walnut Creek. And some Chilean flamingos. So, cool. And what trip to the zoo is complete without some domesticated goats? They have them. Well, at least one. I think there's, there's more over here. And chickens. It's a rarity. We do have some of the Columbus Zoo, but yeah. Chickens. How, how exciting. A nice little, nice little chicken yard. Well, even if the ocelot's not going to be out, the water fountain, waterfall thing. Pretty cool as well. Pretty neat. Well, look at that. One came out over here. I was standing over there. Meanwhile, this one's out and moving around. Look at that. Kind of, I mean, not the most uh, pleasant scene, but you gotta take what you can get, I guess. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Let's see if we get much movement going on here. I mean, candidly, I'd be glad if it did something more than just clean itself, but I guess you take what you can get. Come on, move, move, jump, do something, get off the log, or just chill. Oh, a little scratch, that looks more like dog action there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go, finally got on the move. Awesome, awesome. And so that will do it for the Greenville Zoo, a much smaller zoo for sure than the Columbus Zoo or even some of the other large ones we go to, but we expected that coming in. No criticism against that at all. A lot of stuff they have is well done for what they do have and uh, it allowed us the time to circle around multiple times on certain areas um, to be able to see if we could find some of the animals actually active and whatnot. We did on some, not on all of them, but all in all, hope it was interesting and uh, who knows, maybe we'll come back someday in the future and be able to catch some of those things in the act. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time on Escape 2.